Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a general reading for a Facebook friend today. So we will see what comes up for him. I have done a reading for him before. I just want to see what has changed in his life, if there's anything new. From what I can remember, he is a Leo, so if his card comes up, it will be King of Wands or Strength, which are the cards of Leo, and the Sun. Let's not forget the Sun, because Leos are also bright and charming. Alright, Ten of Wands came out first. Let's put that aside. Five of Swords, the Empress, Card of Taurus, you did have a lot of Taurus energy in your previous reading as well, so you could be dealing with the Taurus Lady, <laughs> the High Priestess, another Taurus card, so you could definitely be dealing with the Taurian Lady. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. The world makes sense. Page of Wands reversed. Four of Cups. Knight of Wands, that's weird because Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. One is reversed, one is in the upright. We'll see what that is all about. And then you have more ones at the bottom of the deck. Ace of ones reversed. Underneath that you have three of cups. With the sun reversed. Nine of pentacles reversed. Okay. Underneath that, ten of ones reversed. I think we'll stop there. <laughs> Okay, so basically what I'm seeing here is that this is talking more about, I don't want to say a love situation, but it is definitely not a career reading. It is not talking much about money. So with the Ten of Wands, you're carrying a heavy burden. Something is weighing heavily on you. It's either that or you're taking on too much, like taking on too much work, taking on too many burdens, too much responsibility, and you're carrying the burden alone. You're not getting help from other people. If not that, then it's just something that's weighing heavily on you. It's like you want to tell someone something because it's weighing heavily on you, but you don't know where to start. Right, you have the Five of Swords, which is about competition and victory. So, when it's in reverse, it normally talks about deceit. Someone around you being deceitful. But I don't feel like it's that. I just feel like with a certain situation in your life, there's a lot of competition. You have a lot of competition, but you are the one who stands out from all the rest. So if there's a lady whose attention you may be trying to get, she may have a lot of guys who are interested in her, but I feel like you are the one who stands out to this person. You stand out from the crowd. With the Empress, this person could be a Torian. Or if not, then it's talking about basically someone's affection is growing. So either this is your affection towards someone that is growing, or someone's feelings towards you are growing. It could also, alternately, it could mean that something is growing. So business is expanding, your company is expanding, something is growing or making progress. That is a good sign. Okay, with the High Priestess in reversed, there's a certain situation 
that needs you to trust your intuition, but you're not trusting your intuition at this point. It is also another Taurian card, another Taurus card. So as I said, you may really be dealing with a Taurus individual. It is basically something to do with guidance, intuition, spirituality as well. So it's just a message to, to stay connected to your spiritual side, to keep praying, to, to not lose hope, because whatever it is that you're praying for, it will come towards you. Okay, then you have Queen of Swords, which as I said is Gemini, Libra or Aquarius energy. But if not that, then it is basically saying that there's a lady who's coming in who's ready to communicate with you. Maybe before things were a bit wonky between the two of you, or she was not ready to open up to you, where now she's ready to start talking. Because swords are all about communication. So if you're waiting on some message to come in from a lady, then it's definitely coming in for you. This person could be in a different country from you because I see the world here. So the world card basically has all four fixed zodiac signs featuring on it. And that is basically then Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. If it's not referring to something or someone who's in a different country or something that's international, then it's definitely just talking about a cycle, all right, because it's a circle there. So it's saying that now is not, not now, this is not the end of the cycle yet. So it's like something still needs to be completed in order for the next phase to start, if that makes sense. Whether it applies to business or love or romance or whatever, something needs to end in order for something new to start. That's what the world is all about. It could also just mean that with your work, with your line of work, you're dealing with a lot of clients on an international platform. You are speaking to a lot of people on social media. You're getting to know a lot of people. It's all about connections, worldwide connections. And now comes the interesting part. So, you basically have Page of Wands reversed. Then you have Four of Cups. Then you have Knight of Wands. So, hmm. The Pages and the Knights are like messengers, okay? But the Pages are more like people who make announcements. So, I don't know if there's an announcement that is being delayed or if there's someone who's coming in with an announcement that you're not expecting. It's like unexpected news with a page of wands. When it's in reverse, it's unexpected. An unexpected announcement that takes you by surprise. Or even a message. It could even be a message that someone sends you that will completely take you by surprise. And that message will leave you thinking a lot. Because Four of Cups is all about thinking, dreaming, imagining, fantasizing, thinking about the next step. And then Knight of Wands is again a passionate message coming in. So if you're expecting some communication from someone, it will definitely come in. That is basically what this is telling me. So there is definitely a new beginning that you're not seeing yet. You will have reason to celebrate, be happy. Three of Cups also speaks about social gatherings, parties, events. You will find happiness. There's still that Nine of Pentacles card that came up for you last time as well. It's basically that you... You're looking at somebody and you admire this person for who they are. 
it's like you just admire everything about the person, their charm, their personality, their looks. But I don't feel like this person is the one for you. Since it is in reverse, it's like this person is not meant to be part of your life in that way. So even if you really like them and you admire them for who they are, they are not meant to be in your life as a romantic partner, if that makes sense. But you can keep respecting them and admiring them and be friends with them, whatever the case may be, because you do have the nine of wands here. So it's like you're standing on the outside looking in, you kind of wanting to be a part of this person's life, but they're not letting you in because their heart is very guarded at this point. Maybe they've gone through past hurts or they're dealing with current trauma or something that's really weighing heavily on them. This could even be weighing heavily on them. It's something that's weighing heavily on someone else. But nonetheless, I feel like you're still looking at someone and that person is not really the one for you. The person who's actually meant for you will come in. We will see in part two if we can get more information for you. Thank you very much for watching.